Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you as a listener. Today's topic is Our Eternal Inheritance. We'll be right back with a brief message from our sponsor. Our Eternal Inheritance Written by Laura Bailey Read by Laura Bailey And since we are His children, we are His heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share His glory, we must also share His suffering. Romans eight seventeen NLT Over dinner, my daughter announced, I want to be president. After chuckling and realizing she wasn't teasing us, I prodded, why is that? She shared that it would be neat to make laws, meet new people, and her favorite part, have power over the country. As many of us know, while being the president has serious perks, there are also many less than glamorous things that many of us would never desire. Hence, why many people decide that leadership isn't for them. The benefits don't outweigh the responsibilities. I think about this when I ponder on our key verse in Romans 8, 17. What a wonderful truth that when we accept Jesus as our Savior, we are God's children and, therefore, co-heirs with Christ. God doesn't just save his children from eternal suffering, but gives us the same inheritance as his son. We receive the riches and glories of God's kingdom and spend eternity in the presence of the Lord. But these eternal perks come with a cost. Like earthly inheritances, someone must die before we can receive its benefits. Christ's first death was on the cross as a payment for our sins. The second death is to our flesh, daily dying to ourselves, and ultimately, the physical death of our human body. For us to receive our eternal inheritance, Christ had to suffer on our behalf. Far too often, I want the benefits of a co-heir, but don't want to suffer, sacrifice, move out of my comfort zone, or lay down my desires. If you're in a season of suffering, know that the Lord sees you. Especially in the trenches of despair, it can feel like all hope is lost, with no light at the end of the tunnel. On this side of eternity, we will experience the loss of loved ones, financial setbacks, broken relationships, injustices, discrimination, spiritual attacks, and the daily effects of life in a broken world. We can acknowledge our hurt and pain, but we don't have to let our feelings consume or overwhelm us. We can go before the Lord in prayer, and even when we don't know what to say, we can lean on the power of the Holy Spirit to intercede on our behalf. Romans 8, 26 through 27. There might be other times when we face intense attacks, even persecution, because of our faith in Christ. We are shunned by neighbors, not so politely asked to check our faith at the door in our workplace, or perhaps even criticized by our family and friends. Our faith will be tested. We will endure trials and tribulations as Christ followers, but we can take heart because Jesus has overcome the world. John sixteen thirty three. As believers, we have the hope, the promise, that all will be right one day. I understand that clinging to this truth doesn't provide answers or solutions to our present circumstances. So let us pray that the Lord meets our physical needs while giving us spiritual strength. In the original Greek text, the word if actually means since. When we read, since you are co-heirs with Christ, you will suffer with him and be glorified with him. That changes our perspective. No one wants to endure suffering, but remember, as Christ followers, everything we do serves an eternal purpose. Our job as Christians, showing Jesus to a fallen world, no matter how difficult, is well worth it. Our suffering is not in vain and pales compared to the glorious riches God has prepared for His children. Intersecting Faith and Life Read over Romans eight seventeen with the word since we are children of God instead of the word if. How does reading the verse this way change your perspective on being a co heir with Christ? Do you struggle to see the purpose in your suffering? How does knowing that as Christians we suffer as Christ suffered, but will also share in his future glory, help you deal with your present circumstance? For further reading, check out John 16.33 and the article, Three Ways to Cling to Hope Amid Suffering. 
The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.